Okay. Give me a show of hands where I can see it. How many of you do not know what floor time is? Okay, I got a few of you who don't know what floor time is. Floor time is the term that many real estate brokerages call covering random phone calls. Someone calls into the office and said, I just saw a sign from your office in front of a house. Can you tell me about the house? The agent that is on floor gets that phone call and gets to try to convert that caller to that agent's client. Okay. Now, I'm on floor and I am the world's worst real estate agent but somehow I'm on floor. Someone says, I'm in front of one of your houses. I got your number off your sign. Will you come show it to me? And I'll go say, yo, yeah, well, heck yes, I'll be right there. It takes me 15 minutes. And I pop up to go show them without asking them if they have two quarters to rub together, without asking them if they've talked to a lender, without asking them if they're working with another agent. I'm just going to be a Pop-Tart agent and jump right up and go show them my listing. But I do do one smart thing. I say, you know what? I know there are two other houses in that neighborhood. Would you like me to show those houses to you also while I'm there? So I can give you three houses to consider rather than just one. What is a normal buyer gonna say to that? Sure, sure why not? So I meet them. I take them through all three houses. Because of COVID, I don't shake their hand. In a normal example with this, I'd say I'd be shaking their hand. How many of you think that it's possible that that buyer thinks I'm an agent working for them? Yeah, I yeah. yeah, I mean, not only did I do what they asked, but I did more. According to the Real Estate Commission, if that buyer legitimately believes that I am their agent, I'm their agent. Even though I never wrote anything down, never even discussed about being agency, being in an agency relationship, my actions implied that I was working with them. So now I would be under Indiana law an implied agent. What happens if they actually we're working with another agent, but they just wanted to see that house and you did not ask. That's a really tricky answer depending upon what happens next. But what I'm going to say, the beginning answer is, I've just wasted a lot of time helping someone else's client. <laughs> okay. I mean, in real life, if they really have been working with another agent. Sure. So you have to ask, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what what if you spent the time and then they would go and work with well another agent? How is that handled? Um, usually with a uh, grumbling session and a glass of wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because there's nothing that you can do about disloyal buyers right now. Frankly, there's very little you can do about disloyal clients. Well, that really make you think that they're your client, and then they go back door you. So, Jay, we only have the, and maybe I maybe I wrote it down wrong. So it's not an agency contract; it's a listing contract. So you have that signed by the person that you're assisting in selling their home. On yes, in, when you're representing a buyer, you do not have that same contract you have them sign? There is a form called an exclusive buyer agency contract okay. that you are perfectly welcome to use. Sadly, in our market, they are almost never used. Uh, there are some markets you don't go walk into a house with an agent unless you've agreed to be their sole client, but it is not that way here in town. It's very rarely used. It is a standard Indiana Association of Realtors form. You go onto the IAR site, you print it out, put it in front of your client and have them sign it. But most of the time that doesn't get done here. 
Thank you. You're welcome. So either you are representing buyer or seller, you have to have some sort of formal written paperwork, regardless. You have to have something in writing to work with the seller. You should have something in writing to work with the buyer, but it is not required. Okay. Which wow. to me seems stupid, but yes. who am I? Yes, it is, yeah.